you very much. At a rally just north of Toronto, Pierre Poliev takes aim at his rivals. How many working folks can't choose where to go for a vacation because they can't afford a buck seventy five a liter of gas, some, a price that's going to rise because of the carbon tax that Justin Trudeau has imposed and that Patrick Brown and Jean Charest support. Poliev, Patrick Brown and Jean Charest are at the top right now of a conservative leadership race already crowded with nine hopefuls. Poliev has the most support in the conservative caucus, but Brown got a big boost last week when popular conservative MP Michelle Rempel Garner said she would be Brown's national campaign co-chair. Brown also hopes to use the supporters list that helped him win the Ontario Progressive Conservative leadership in 2017 to win the federal leadership this fall. And on Friday, former Ontario Premier Mike Harris announced his support for Charest, who, of course, is a former Quebec Premier. Charest was campaigning Saturday in his old riding of Sherbrooke. The focus on Ontario and Quebec should surprise no one because this race is decided on a points system, with each and every riding in the country having 100 points up for grabs. The electoral strength of the Conservative Party is in the 48 ridings in Alberta and Saskatchewan, where Conservatives hold just about every seat. But it is the points in the 189 ridings in Ontario and Quebec, where Conservatives hold less than 50 seats, that are crucial for any Conservative leadership campaign.